Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video we have something a little different going on here. As you can see I am in the game of Minecraft currently. Now I'm not a really big Minecraft player, I'm not a big Minecraft fan, but I do play it from time to time and I figured it would be a fun video to go ahead and build the actual Ice Emperor's Castle as you can see in front of you in Minecraft and I'm going to go ahead and talk about and I guess show off this design here for all of you guys to see. Now a quick disclaimer before we get started here, again sorry for the audio. This is recorded through my in-game chat and it might not sound the best and uh, I don't really have any way else of recording audio like this so we're just gonna have to bear with it for this video only and second this is not trying to be a perfect replica of the Ice Emperor's castle I was not going for accuracy rather I was mainly just trying to get a little bit of an inspiration for the actual castle itself because I really like the design it's one of my favorite parts about season 11 I think the design is awesome and overall I wasn't really trying to capture that castle design exactly this is more like a Minecraft version of the actual castle itself. And as you can see right here around me, this is not the Never Realm. I tried to go ahead and actually make uh, some type of world that could look more like the Never Realm, but uh, you know, it's still not going to be too terribly bad. I mean, there's some ice going on over here, some trees going on and stuff, so it's close enough, I guess. But let's go ahead and talk about this actual castle design. I think we'll start with the actual, I guess, build itself. As you can see, going all the way around here, it is a very solid castle design. Again, this is all based off of my own kind of design. This was built entirely by myself, and there are a few features here that are not in the show itself, from what I can tell, but... You know, the castle itself is a very is a very awesome design, especially from uh, the TV show. The Lego set, not so much. This is not trying to be the actual Lego set. This is trying to be how the Ice Emperor's castle appears in the TV show. So as you can see, there is a lot of ice kind of going around here. I'm not familiar with a lot of the materials in Minecraft, but I do wanted to, uh, but I did want to go ahead and actually create kind of a decrepit kind of ice look going on here. So that's basically what this is trying to represent. And there are some towers up top. We'll talk about those really quick too. Just talking about the castle on the top of the, uh, I guess, the upper level itself here. There are a few little watchtowers, and each one of these watchtowers is different. I couldn't get them exactly, but simply you just will go up the ladder, and if I can do that, there you go. You know, practically so that the ice uh, army can kind of just sit up here and watch for enemies and stuff like that. All of the, uh, the little uh, watchtowers have a similar kind of structure and design and color. I wanted to keep it mainly consistent with how we saw the castle in the show and what the ice uh, army's colors actually are. On the other side we do have the exact same thing pretty much except this side you can see some of the ice coming through on the top of the structure is kind of invading the watchtowers which I did want to go ahead and try to create that kind of look. I didn't want these sort of ice structures to look too fake and too organized. I understand that they do look fairly, I guess, organized with each other, but that wasn't really by intention, especially down here talking about the ice. You can see it is asymmetrical on either side, and that's kind of what I wanted to do here for the actual structure itself. Nothing too terrible going on there. The top just has a little bit of extra room. Maybe people can walk around here, do whatever, basically. It's not really too bad, in my opinion. Again, it's not exact, but I, I did try my best. Down at the front, going into the castle, you can see I do have some flags up there to represent the flags of the, I guess, Ice Emperor's army. And all the way around the castle, as I showed you earlier, there really isn't anything too important. There's not really anything uh, of, I guess, note going on in there. But I really do like the look of the castle overall. And there is an interior, so let's go ahead and check that out. So starting down here, uh, going up the stairs, the stairs are kind of short compared to what's actually in the show itself. Um, apologies for that. Uh, I tried my best, but again. But going in here right away, uh, we'll just show you right away. This is the actual throne of the Ice Emperor itself. Right when you walk in, there are little areas to my right and to my left that I will be showing you in a minute. But just walking in, you get the Ice Emperor's throne. You can go sit up top of it if you would like to, and you can sit. This is where Zane would sit and you can just go ahead and put yourself right here and there you go that's what that looks like that's what the other side of the wall looks like there isn't really a whole lot of reference to what the actual i guess ice emperor's tomb should look like i mean there's just a lot of ice so i tried my best to do that uh, i did put some uh, light material inside some of the ice beams as you can see to sort of light the place again i didn't want it to seem too bright i kind of wanted that blue light flowing through here and i think what i managed to do kind of pulls it off a little bit it's not perfect but it you know it, it does what it needs to do and again the actual design for the walls i kind of had to do myself because 
you know, it doesn't really show too much in my opinion. Uh, the actual show kind of leaves it up to your interpretation as well. So I just kind of filled it with uh, some ice uh, memorabilia, some ice icicles and some ice beams, things like that. Now going uh, through the door and to the right, this is actually where the prison will be. This is where Lloyd was captured. This is where Akita's brother was captured. We have one cell here and there are three more cells around here. Uh, again, can't have it too nice. There is a wooden bed in there. So again, nothing too terrible going on there. But going over to the other side, if I can do that, right when you walk in the castle to the left hand side, if you turn left, this is actually where the actual ice army itself kind of sits. And this is my ice army right now. This is kind of what I have uh, for replicas, not really replicas, but uh, stand-ins for the actual undead ice warriors. I kind of have their colors going here with the red and the icy blue along with the white. And I figured this would be a good place to actually keep the army. You guys can uh, deploy them through here and exit here. That could be kind of cool to see. We did see in the show the ice army deploying. So that's kind of cool. Nothing too terrible going on there. The blizzard samurai themselves don't really look like samurai right now. They just kind of look like blocks, but that's pretty much by design. I really didn't have any other way of doing that. But uh, that'll just about do it for the inside, I think. So let's go ahead and talk about some other stuff going on in this build. So moving back up to the top of the castle, you can see there is a little bit more going on, especially when you go behind. There is some stuff going on behind it. And uh, again, it looks kind of sparse from the background, so apologies there. But uh, the actual, I guess, roof itself does have a little bit of a secret to it. And this is kind of made to represent right here the area in which um, the actual people who, I guess, lived in the castle before Zane and Vex took it over. This would be sort of their quarters and their area. And up here we do have, going up the stairs, we do have a little bit of a bedroom area as well. Just because I had extra space here, this stuff was not seen in the actual show itself from my knowledge. But uh, just going into it right here, you can see uh, just some other stuff. There is nothing in these chests. These chests are completely empty. Um, you could probably just put something in there if you would like to. I also put some bookshelves here, along with some more ice beams representing uh, Zane's dark, uh, corrupted ice flowing up through the floor. So that's what that's supposed to represent. But uh, yeah, again, nothing too crazy going on here. This wasn't seen in the show, so I kind of had to get a little creative with it. This is presumably where General Vex would kind of hang out when he's not advising the Ice Emperor. This is probably where he'd be. And uh, really, the only reason why this exists in the first place was because, again, I did not have, uh, you know, enough... Uh, content to fill up the entirety of the space so I guess I just kind of uh, created my own little flair to it here and yeah we have the watchtowers out here yet again and I believe that's basically all I have to show you guys for the Ice Emperor's Castle itself in Minecraft. Uh, let me know down below in the comments what you think about this build. Do you think that it's enjoyable? Do you think that I did a fairly decent job? And what are some things that I can improve? I was trying to go ahead and make this the best I could. I did really enjoy building this. I built this over the course of a few days trying to go ahead and get this perfect. But of course it's not really too perfect. Uh, oh, let me show you really quick what it looks like with the snow on. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys would like to see that, if I could find where that is, whether... See, that doesn't look too bad in my opinion. I do feel like that kind of looks pretty good. From a distance, um, you know, it still doesn't look too terrible. You can kind of see what's going on here. But uh, overall, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Uh, again, let me just go ahead and clear the clear the the rain or the snow rather but let me know what you think about this build down below in the comments and again be sure to let me know what i could have improved in this build it's not perfect and i did try my best but i, I really hope you enjoyed taking a look at the ice emperor's castle in minecraft uh if you would like to see me do more builds like this uh, let me know uh, down in the comments as well. I look forward to actually reading what you guys come up with for that. I kind of want to make this a series, but I kind of want to see how you guys like this first part. And I could go ahead and build anything from uh, Ninjago, basically. Um, but if you guys want to see this as a series, let me know that down below. And again, sorry for rambling on here in the outro, but let me know what you think about this build, because I'm actually quite curious of how people will respond to it. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video once again. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including the Marvelous Jan. Thank you so much for pledging to the $10 tier. As such, you'll receive a spoken shout out and a written shout out at the end of every video. Plus, you will get early access content occasionally on the actual Patreon page. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You guys have been a big help. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.